Hello, welcome back. I am James Makes, and today we are doing something a little bit special. Uh, first of all, long time no see. I haven't recorded a video because I have been busy video editing. Um, I probably will put a link down in the description for the works that I've been doing because I'm trying to get a job at video editing. And so far, I'm pretty happy with my progress of just video editing, and hopefully I'll land a job soon. But anyways, in today's video, it's going to be a little bit different because I want to work on a prop. Unfortunately, I got stuck up on a big project that I eventually burnt out on. And so my goal for today is to remove that burnout. Fake, uh, so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a random prop given by ChatGPT. And I will have to model, unwrap, and texture all of it in one hour. And I will most likely be doing a bunch of these for the upcoming days. And hopefully, I come up with something. So here we go. Uh, can you give me an environment prop idea? All right. Let's see what ChatGPT will give me. Come on, give it a good. A time warp in hourglass. Uh, this prop could be a magical hourglass. When activated, creates a localized time distortion field. Can you describe the colors and um, materials of this hourglass? The base of the hourglass is made of polished, dark mahogany wood. By adding a dirty, elegant foundation, upper and lower chambers of the hourglass are made with a transparent crystal or glass. Sand within hourglass is not ordinary sand, a shimmering, luminescent substance with a soft glow. Jesus Christ. Connecting the upper and lower chambers are a thin tube of silver or gold metallic material, an activation mechanism, perhaps set embedded buttons or runes made of smooth, cool to the touch metal. So there are runes on the on time, piece, time, whatever, whatever, whatever this hourglass. It's deep mahogany, brushed metal, iridescent crystal, and look. It's a sand and then metallic. Uh, the oh, yeah, it's already the brushed metal. Okay, wow, what a description! I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do this in an hour. I have an idea, I have a concept in mind of how I might do this. So let's just stop with it. All right, let's start the clock. An hour, an hour to fucking make this, this is ridiculous. All right, three, two, one. Let's begin! Vamos! Alright, here we go. Oh god, I'm lagging like shit because I'm converting a video while doing this at the same time. This may not, this may not end well for all of us. Okay, uh, Cylinder. I probably should have turned on the music because I don't even know if I'm gonna edit this video. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, do this. Do... Okay, so I'm, I need a cylinder here. Uh, like right here-ish. And I'm going to mirror this to the other side so I can save some time. Let's do this. And then I'm going to make that a little bigger. And then I'm going to make the hourglass. So from experience, actually, oh, I can do a big brain move. I can do a big brain move. I can do something like this. And I'll also mirror it upwards. Checkmate. Look at that. Okay. So now I'm going to go here. And I'm going to bevel that bitch. There you go. Uh, auto smooth. Uh, let's do uh, this. And bang. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's do... This maybe, yeah. I like I like having a rim there. That would be that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty hype. Uh, probably do this. 
I don't know if is this gonna be a proper topology. Yeah, I think probably. Like, like that. I guess that's probably top proper topology. Okay, so I'm gonna mirror this here, and then I'm gonna mirror it upwards, so that all we need to texture is this part. Uh, for the runes, the runes. Fuck, how do I do the runes here? The runes will be. Uh, shoot. I don't know how I'm going to make the runes, bro. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I'm going to make the runes. I think I'll make a separate object and I'm going to put it like here. Like like a thing here, maybe, I guess. So I'll, I'll put it right there. And then that should be it. Okay, so I think I'm done with the hourglass. So that's just pretty fast. Uh, we modeled that in like three minutes. Luckily, we got an hourglass, which is pretty easy to do. Oh, God, I need to do this. I need to save. Okay, saved. Okay. Uh, let's mirror this on the y-axis. That is the wrong side there. There's the, oops, the, the z-axis. Nope, the positive axis. Oh, wait, no, 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 it is the right one. It's just that it's not oriented properly. It's supposed to be mirrored in this point. There you go. Bang, bro. Efficiency. Oh, my God. All right, there you go. Okay, so we got the hourglass. I just need to now unwrap it. Uh, luckily, it's pretty easy to unwrap this bad boy because it's literally all cylinders. Uh, whoops. Uh, control E, control E, control E. Ooh, can I even mirror it this way? Holy fuck. This is the most efficient model I have ever done. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, bro. I am zooming. I ha literally I haven't modeled or touched I haven't even touched Blender in like what? In in a while. <laughs> like in like a month? Like no, not a month. Like a week. So, I'm pretty happy that I'm moving this fast. Okay. So now we have everything that we need. I'm just going to do some UV squares so that we can actually uh, fit everything snugly. Uh, we do need space for the runes. So I'm just going to make sure that we have space for that. And I think I'm going to make all of these an even size. Okay. So I'm going to pack those in later, but for now, let's make the runes. How the fuck am I going to make the runes? Runes. Uh, 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 like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, okay, let's start with, let's start with a cube. I'm going to make a rock. I don't know, if, I don't, I don't know how this is going to work, but it's going to be there, I guess. So I'm going to do, like, a rock here, and then, like, small rock. Bang, bang, right there, right, uh, this is looking like shit, brother. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. This looks awful. All right, whatever. We're going for it. So it's going to be something like this, where it's like a, it's like a, it's like a thing. There you go. So, I think that will work. We don't even need to shade it smooth, really, because it's a rock. It's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, like that, I guess. Actually, we do want to. Yeah, there you go. I want like this nice sharp edge on there. That's pretty nice. Okay, we got one rune. So I'm assuming that will be like a button or something. I don't fucking know. All right, uh, let's unwrap this bad boy. Uh, let's select this face, this face. I'll basically just unwrap it like a cylinder. Um, where is the mark seam? The reason why I'm panicking because I know that the texturing is going to be hell. Because texturing takes forever, bro. It's literally the part that will make or break this entire ordeal. Okay, we unwrapped it. Uh, grid to shade? Nope. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Nope, that looks awful. Okay. Snap to equal distance? That kind of works, I guess. 
Yeah, that works. Uh, this one's fine. That one's not fine. That's good. All right. We can turn this into quads, but I can't be bothered. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because I can. Because I can do it. I'm going to turn this into quads. Just because. I think it also will lead to a better deformation. I could be completely shooting that out of my ass, but I, I is that the term? I literally don't know. <laughs> I don't think that's the term. That sounds oddly inappropriate. Uh, okay, what the fuck? Where is this going? Oh, it's here. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not. I don't have to go here. I don't know why I was in that view the whole time. Uh, bang, bang. No, what the fuck? Uh, dissolve. No, what? Why is that there? Like, bang. And then. I guess, sure, whatever. Bang, bang. There you go. I'm not even gonna argue because it's just, it is what it is, I guess. There you go. Uh, grid, grid, grid. This is not a grid at the bottom. There has to be a better way to model this because I feel like I'm modeling this wrong. Actually, now I'm just going to unwrap this specific section so that everything is snapped. All right. That took us 10 minutes to model this. I think I'm going to just leave it like that and I'm good. <laughs> I'm not going to make any more runes. Okay. Uh, pack island, sure, and then we'll come back to this. Un, uh, no, uh, pack, pack these because these are already pretty good. We're gonna pack the islands. Actually, we'll average island size, average island scale, and then we'll pack so that everything has a pretty equal amount of detail. That's all right. I think that's, you know, I mean, that's probably mathematically going to work, right? I feel like you can squeeze in a little more here, maybe. Ah, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother. Maybe I will bother. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay. Like, I feel like you can stretch these, can you? Anyone who is watching this, because apparently there are now people who are watching this, which is kind of weird. I expected this channel to go nowhere, but... Uh, to just improve my skills, but instead it actually attracted an audience. So if anyone here actually knows what they're doing, is there actually a benefit or a disadvantage rather to stretching your textures? Because I know it will look weird if you have like a, a certain texture, but isn't it going to add more texture detail or is it going to make it weird? Uh, let me know. Because I feel, like a, I feel like I don't know what the proper practice is for this one. Okay, so now we have it unwrapped. I am going to now start painting. I think the easiest way that I can go about this is if I go to my hourglass and if I separate everything by loose part and then I color it in manually, I'm going to make a new material. I'm going to call it hourglass. Oh shit, I forgot that I needed to I needed to have a sand section. Oh no! Uh, sand section. Because, like, this is the glass, but it needs to have the sand in it, obviously. So, shit. I'm already falling apart. It's Jover. Okay. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with that. Uh, I'm gonna... Hang on. Uh, select this... Yeah, sure. And then I'm going to edit this. And then... Uh, actually, I'm going to apply all the mirror. Because I actually want it to be something like this. And then... Something like that. Uh, cool. And then... 
Mark Sam. Okay. I think that should unwrap pretty okay. Let's see. <laughs> That's a weird ass unwrap, but I'll take it. Okay. Uh it works though, it works. I think I need to unwrap this like a cylinder as well. Because this will most likely look weird. Or does it? It just looks like a plate. So I think I can actually go get away with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can work with that. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just pack this again. Uh, pack I average island scale. Pack islands. What the fuck? Pack islands. There you go. There you go. That actually looks like a proper packing. There you go. Nice. Okay, we got 47 minutes left. Let's do this. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We got this. We got this. All right. Uh, wait. Why did I do that again? Uh, hourglass. There you go. Shader, uh, image texture, we'll make a new one, we'll call it hourglass, we'll make it 2k texture, so we got plenty of detail, uh, we had an alpha, okay, and then we will connect this to color, connect this to alpha, and now let's go to our images, let's save as hourglass. There you go. So now we just have it saved because the one thing I remembered is that it does not allow you to save for that long. So I think I just need to make sure that I can save myself. Okay. Let's let's look back again at the description. What was the description? It's made of mahogany wood. I think mahogany is like a purplish, dark purplish color with like a red tone. So like we'll go like this color. And then like really dark. I think that's what that color is. Missing textures? I'll go fuck yourself. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Oh wait, no, I didn't link the, the material. Oopsies. Okay, materials. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to texture this like that. I cannot see shit. It is also in the middle of the afternoon. Probably the worst time to do this texturing job. Uh, I'm going to do for this one. I don't actually know what I want for this one. Uh, probably, wait, uh, fade and threat inactive, there you go. Uh, it did say silver or gold. I'm gonna go with gold, so it looks just nicer. I think gold works well with, like, a darkish here. Runes, let's go with, like, a bluish gray color. The glass, I mean, let's just color it, like, whitish. Any color will really do because we're gonna fade it out at the end. Uh, and then this one, the inside I think needs to be like yellow. Uh, I think that's it. So that's all the texture is pretty much drafted in. Uh, I feel like there's some bleeding. So I think I need to fix that. Let me go to where are my, my, my settings? Options. Bleed. There it is. Apply. Okay, well, that didn't work. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to this. I probably should name these. Sand. Glass. Gold. Wood. Rune. There you go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, let's. Uh, how do you how do you do this? Okay, Shift X. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Does that not bleed? Ooh, wait. I need like a one pixel. Though that ruin it if I want the one pixel. Probably not. Hopefully. Uh, do this. Do this. No bleeds, no nothing. Okay, we're good. Okay. And let's do sand as well. Yeah, we are, we're not bleeding. I'm not bleeding, brother. Okay. So we have 43 minutes to texture. Uh, let's do it.
Okay, how do I how do I go about this? Uh, first things first, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same technique that I did with the log. I'm gonna put this in my tablet. Okay. Where essentially what I did is I just went in with a color brush and just sort of played around with values. I'm gonna turn off my lights because I can't see shit. All right, I turned off the lights. Okay, let's see. Oh God, do I just see bleeding? Oh God. I do see a little bit of bleed. No! Fuck! Uh, okay, I'm gonna go to my UVs. God damn it, man. Come on. Why are you doing this to me? I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, individual. Okay, let's make that nice and small. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That should fix it. I mean, that's a big ass gap, so that should just fix it. I don't know how the fuck those League of Legends artists pack the shit out of their textures. How on earth is that possible? That is like physically not possible. How on earth? Okay. Anyways, uh, am I? Is this working? No, because the normals are fucked. Is it? Yes, the normals are fucked. Okay. Uh, let's do a quick, just quick normal check. Okay, uh, shift N. There you go. All right, so now we can paint. What I'm gonna do for this rune is, uh, oh God, wait, is it metal? Oh no, it is metal, isn't it? Shit, I completely forgot what the thing was. Smooth, cool to the touch, metal, like polished silver. Actually, you know what? You know, you know what? Uh, I can actually make this work. I can make it this work. I, make... I was about to turn this into stone. <clears throat> Shit. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go and put this like a really polished thing. Uh, I'm gonna do something like this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to be brave. I have been a bit of a smudge boy in my entire life. I need to stop the smudging because I feel like it is hindering my skill. So I'm going to go messy. This is what I did for the for the log and it actually ended up probably one of my best works because I just went in with with color. I no sensitivity. I mean there is a little bit, but I I I tried my best to work with full colors. No smudgy bullshit, because I feel like that hindered my work so much to a point where it looked awful. So I think I need to just be comfortable at being messy, because that's the that's the problem. I, I, I like having things very neat and nice, but in reality, you cannot really get that unless if you have a sculpt. If you have a sculpt, sure, you can you can be as clean as you want, but if you don't have a sculpt, it's kind of difficult to put a point of reference. There you go. Okay. What the fuck is this? Okay, well, that's just weird. Okay, so now we have this. I'm going to now take a new color. I'm going to go with like a bluish tinge. Yes. Just sort of splotch that in. Again, experiment. Unfortunately, if I experiment and if it doesn't work, then I'm fucked. <laughs> because I just wasted my time. Uh, but luckily, I think I'll be able to do it. I'm confident. I'm a professional. Okay, there you go. Uh, here. Okay, let's smudge the fuck out of this. Uh, let's do something like, like a this, yes. There you go. Okay. There you go. There you go. I do not know where this is going, but it is uh, something. <laughs> 43 minutes. Okay, okay, okay. 
I do like the colors. I'm not gonna lie. The colors are kind of cool. I do think that the biggest problem is I do not have reference right now. Cause then when I'm when I'm painting with with the reference image, it is a little easier to work with colors. But now that I do not have reference images, it's kind of actually working in hard mode where you kind of just have to trust yourself that the colors are gonna be good at the end, <laughs> which uh, oftentimes is not the case. Okay, uh, let's do highlight. No, 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 no. We'll do we'll do a wash. So we'll actually lower the strength and we will just wash this out with a color. And the reason being is that we do have now this nice texture, but we do want to keep it to one color for the most part, right? We want it to be this metallic silver color. Therefore, we want to ease it into this color. So that's the idea. We, we want that as a base to make it look interesting, but we actually want it to be more cohesive with with one color that would sort of rule them all. There you go. We're just blending in the, the corners that we don't really want to be seen. This is actually a corner that I probably want to be seen, but I'll highlight that with, with you know, literally just the highlights. Okay. So now we are good. Uh, we are going to add some highlights and see how this looks. And so far from just looking at the viewport, it does not look good. <laughs> I'm going to just be real here. I'm going to keep it a stack. It does not look very good. But, 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 but. We do not give up. We, we only give up when literally we have no time. And we still have time. If we really think that this looks like shit, then we will we will revise it if we have the time. Uh, I also saw a video of like how to uh, how to hand paint like Riot Games. One of the biggest things that they they taught was that you need to be more conservative with your details. And make sure that your your composition almost is correct in terms of the detail. The level of detail needs to have a nice hierarchy because that's why a lot of League of Legends looking stuff looks appealing is because your eyes naturally look at things in a very hierarchical method, hierarchical way. I don't fucking know how to speak English. <laughs> so you uh, you look at it and be like, oh, wow, your eyes immediately know where to look. Which is kind of why their stuff looks good, because it kind of tricks your eyes into looking at the nicest stuff in the image. And so far, I am making the worst parts of the image, so hopefully I'll make the best parts of the image later. <laughs> that is my logic. Okay. Uh, I also need to stop smudging. As I noticed, I literally smudged just to get the detail in. Uh, you're supposed to not do that. You're only supposed to do that at the very end. You're not supposed to do that while you're painting. Because while you're painting, you need to do this. You need to like actively blend in the colors that you want so that you can actually refine the, the look of it. There you go. Uh-huh. That can probably work, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Something like that. Another thing that I learned from the from the riot peeps is that uh you need to be almost telling like a story when you're painting, which is kind of the point of art. You're telling a story. And usually when I paint, I usually just imitate. I, 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 I use the reference and I only work with the reference. I don't add anything to it. 
But that is uh, apparently not a good way to go about it. Instead, you should look at it as a, as a canvas and then you, you think of ways to sort of bend and meld it into something interesting, to something that you personally will be interested in. So I uh, made the phase logo. <laughs> I'm not interested in phase, but uh, I guess it, uh, I guess I just, this is literally the only shape that I can think of as of the moment and I do not have time to think of anything else. So I'm just going to go with this. Uh, I'm going to, but yeah, so apparently you should tell a story with whatever you are painting. You should try to, to get an, uh, something, something out of there, like. So that the the person will look at it and be like, "Wow, what an interesting piece!" and not just some random foliage. And even random foliage can have a message, where, "Oh wow, look at this tree. This tree has probably been here for a thousand years." And if you that's what the image or that's the message you wanted to portray, then you did your job. That's kind of the point. It, it needs to have a reason to be there, and that's often something I I struggle with a lot because oftentimes a lot of my art is kind of has no meaning in fact because that's how i treated environment art but in reality it's just the same amount of artistic detail as a character an environment can tell so many things that a character may not even be able to do so do not underestimate how much creative output you can have from a from Prop design or character design, stuff like that. Why did I decide to paint the bottom of this? This is so stupid. What? <laughs> I decided to paint the, the bottom of that. It's just, it's just so, such a bad decision. Okay. Okay, there you go. So now let's smudge these. Okay. There you go. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm going Smudge City again. All right, that's fair. Actually, you know what? I'm going to polish this later. I think I'm okay with this amount of detail for this because we do have other stuff to worry about. Okay, let's go to here. Uh, for this one, I mean, to be fair, mahogany wood is pretty easy in terms of level of detail because it is just wood. No disrespect to any foliage artists, but straight up, I mean, you just have to make like lines and that's about it. Imagine if I fail this and I, tr <laughs> I'm absolutely going to get destroyed by foliage artists. So far, the comments that I saw, I'm actually surprised that people actually listen to my fucking weird ass videos here because someone, I think, rem like, uh, answered one of my questions in the video. And I believe it was about unwrapping where he was like, if you hate unwrapping this much, then use a uh, quadrimesher, not quadrimesher, the, the one that, uh, the, like in ZBrush. I forgot what it was. I think it is Quadrimesher. Whatever the name is, it's a paid program. Uh, not paid program. Add-on for Blender that basically takes the functionality of the ZBrush remesher and puts it in Blender. And that should practically fix your unwrapping whatever or not. Because honestly, it's the best in the business. But I just don't want to pay. <laughs> I'm broke, bitch. I don't got money to pay for that shit. And if you're going to tell me, oh, just pirate it, shame on you. If you are pirating it, you know, I at least have a plan to buy it in the future. But for me personally, I don't think it's, I don't think I hate unwrapping enough that I'm willing to pirate a program for it, you know? Okay, so I think this is how it's going to look. I'm going to just quickly make some interesting looking lines and shit. I need to save. I feel like it's going to crash. I'm going to save. There we go. I'm going to I'm going to bend this a bit. What the fuck is happening? 
Okay, there you go. I don't know what was happening there. So, so this is the hard part when you're working with wood in this format, in, in like a mirrored format, because you can't really get that many interesting shapes out of it. So you kind of just have to roll with it. Uh, let's do that. There you go. And go here. The highlights. So I'm trying to get the edges of the wood to make sense. Nice. Something something similar. Something like that, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh let's do that. Uh, I think Oh wait, never mind. I I needed to do this as well. There you go. Okay. So that's sort of the drafting of what this will look like. Uh, I probably need to add hints of like yellows, just to make it look like wood actually. Uh, maybe like lower the strength a bit so I can actually get some hues in there. Because so far it looks a little too red, you know. There you go. Just wisps of uh, orange. To make sure that I can get that wood feel to come across. There you go. And... Nice. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, wait, that's not it. Okay. There you go. Okay. That actually looks sort of decent. That looks weird. I'm just going to... Try and patch that. There you go. But otherwise, I mean, it, it, again, wood is hard to mess up. That's probably why it looks pretty okay because it's wood. It's not. It's not the hardest thing in the world, really. In fact, that's metal. But doom. All right, let's do. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible joke. Let's do metal. Uh, I'm gonna do that multiply anyways I uh, might as well talk about other stuff while I'm doing this I have been video editing for a few days now and honestly yeah I can I can see this as a job like I was trying to, to sort of find a job in the 3d industry ever since I got laid off. And I think specifically for 3D, the only real jobs that you are most likely going to be interested in are like outside the country. <laughs> like, and most of the time, these are people who are also like really like experienced and most likely do not... Um, they, they they only care for the best of the best. So 
I think my portfolio currently is just not in that state yet. I am uh, most likely still like a novice if I were to treat myself. Like a lot of my work feels very novice-ish. And I think once I get to a level where I feel like, ah, yes, I feel like, okay, this is like professional level work, then I'll consider like actually going for a 3 day job. But for now, video editing is kind of like my bread and butter for like basically trying to get a job. And I mean, so far, ever ever since I learned the Vinci Resolve, it's been cruising smooth. I don't know what to tell you, boys. I've been Da Vinci peeled. I sorely underestimated that program. In fact, I would like to formally apologize to Da Vinci Resolve for not using their program as much as I should have, because their program is so good. It's actually crazy. Because I was a fellow Vegas user, as everyone does, uh, when they first started video editing. I think I, I think as Vegas is a good place to start. You can also you know, use Premiere or DaVinci as well. But I think Vegas has a lot of very intuitive controls. Because when I went into DaVinci from Vegas, it felt almost a bit awkward. But now I know because it's a, just a different workflow. But also, I think it's similar to Premiere. So if you did come from Premiere, you'll probably feel just as like on home. Uh, that's a wrong sentence. You'll feel like just like home when you use DaVinci. There's only like a few things that have changed most likely. The only thing that's kind of pissing me off while trying to get a job as a video editor is that everybody wants to use Premiere, but I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I feel like if I just say that I use Premiere and I still use Vegas, it won't make a difference. <laughs> and also, I think it's also only when it's like absolutely necessary. So like if they send in a project file in Premiere, then obviously I need to edit in Premiere. So I think the only value that I might need to have Premiere on my system is to have those situations. So if I have those situations where I actually need to edit in Premiere and there is no getting around it, then I'm just going to use Premiere. But when I apply for jobs and they say Premiere is required, I'll probably just apply. I feel like that's probably better than just like not... <laughs> not going for it really okay I feel like smudging at the very early age what the fuck my timer stopped I just realized I'm still in 43 minutes <gasps> oh my god man I am toast 20 minutes oh my god I knew it. I was like, why is this actually... But this timer is going oddly slowly. No, I'm so... I'm so dead. I'm so dead, brother. I'm so dead. <laughs> no. Okay, fine, 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 fine. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Okay, uh, let's go here, let's go here. Uh, let's do... Uh, what you call it? Uh, no specular. Why is it not applying to everything? Okay, well, that's weird. Roughness? No. What? No. Okay, that's weird. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, wait. No, there you go. Huh? This is supposed to be zero, yeah? Okay, I feel like something is happening to my, to my thing. That it... Isn't this supposed to go, like, no specular, right? Am I am I tripping? That's zero. Oh, because it's fade inactive. Ah, I see. I'm so stupid. Eighteen minutes. Fuck. Okay. Uh, erase alpha. It is time. It is time to 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 lose all hope. Uh, where is my thing? Uh, I need settings. No, I need to go to Eevee, 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 
materials blend mode hashed there you go so now we can see behind the glass and we're just gonna paint with erasing it because i feel like that's really the only way i can do this There you go. Okay, that actually, that doesn't look half bad. It has this ugly line in the middle when I like zoom out, but not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, it has like a weird ugly line here. I don't know why. Can I like remove that? I, I don't know. Okay. There you go. Um let's do let's do the sand. Okay. Jesus Christ. I fully underestimated how much time I had man i was doing i was going way too slow because holy shit uh maybe uh it was supposed to be luxurious you know what let's go full crazy mode fuck it let's go let's go fuck it we ball mode uh let's do this and let's do this so it's going to be like a glittery, sparkly powder. Yes, sir. Look at that. Let's lower the strength so we don't go a bit overboard too quickly. You might even need a new texture just for the emissions because it's most likely going to affect this. What the fuck happened? Oh, I, I adjusted it accidentally. There you go. Uh, okay. And then it just sort of stops glowing at the bottom. I might even add a little bit of darkening here at the bottom. There you go. Okay. Okay. Nice, because it did say sparkly powder or something like that. Um, so I want to make it look magical, absolutely. If I'm gonna make it look bad, I might as well look at ma make it look magical. There you go. Uh, let's do. It is smudging. Okay. We are good to go. Oh boy. Why is smudging so damn slow? Why is it so slow? It's like so irresponsive. I think it's because of the mirrors. Hang on. Uh, but I need the mirrors. Fuck me then. Okay. Welp, uh, that should do now. <laughs> I guess that will do. Yeah, that, I mean, that, I, I'll take it. That, that doesn't, that doesn't look half bad. Uh, I think I'll need to color this in. No, not color burn. Color, color, color. I need to color this in with, like, blue. So it has like a bluish tone to it. Uh, mix. And I think the only thing that I can think of that might help this is to add like a bit of shadow at the bottom. Or at the at the bottoms of the thing. Yeah, yeah. That that sort of uh, actually I don't I can't tell. Kind of. It kind of helps.
There you go. I guess. Uh, let's add some shadow here. Actually, uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let's actually add the add light first. So I'm gonna add like a like a bluish color. Does that even work? Oh fuck! I have I'm I'm using eraser. Whoopsies. There you go. Because of course, if if it's like glowing blue, most likely it's also gonna be glowing there. Sort of small things like that that sort of add to the image. And then I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna do a uh, dark color, blue, something like this. Yes. Okay. There you go. So it adds just a nice glow to it. And then we can just sort of pass on it with a bit more shadow. Just to sort of mute that a bit more. Uh, let's go to here. No, let's go to here. And then let's add some more. Actually, for this specific case, since this is going to be metal, I do want it to be fairly strong. Because since it's metal, it will most likely reflect a whole bunch more light from this than wood. So it's going to bleed into the other side a little more. There you go. Nice. I also still want to make sure that the colors are not overpowering, though. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Ooh. Man, the colors are so washed out. It's crazy. 10 minutes. I might be able to save this with like some more color blending. Or like not the color blending. Like like adding material effects to it. But honestly, this is kind of difficult to save. Uh, Let's see. What else can I do? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Man, I spent so much time on this fucking dumbass rune. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna do this. Okay. And then... I'm gonna go... And add... I'm gonna add some extra shit, alright? Uh, for example... Actually, we don't need. We don't need to worry about the the, the roughness shit. Uh, image texture. Let's scale this down to like five one two. We don't really need this to be like heavy. Metallic. All right. So currently, everything is non-metallic. So now, if I fill this in with white, bang, it is now metallic. So I can use that there to just sort of add more, I guess, texture or just make it look nicer in some way. Uh, I can also make the ambient occlusion a little bit nicer. Actually, I can do that on Eevee on the renders. 
Let me do a quick cheat. Actually, not even a cheat. I'm just going to do this. Image. New. Emission. There. Okay. So obviously that would look a little weird, but the idea will be to do this. So now when we connect this to this and then connect this back to this, we now have a glowing thing. Overlay? No, I think it's multiply. Because we want the dark parts to not light up, essentially. That's the idea. Oh, this is kind of weird. I don't know why that's not working. Maybe I need to switch it. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, that is exactly what I want. Okay. There you go. Okay, I don't know what the fuck happened there. It was just doing some weird shit. I gotta add some bloom. Add some lights. This is gonna look awful. <laughs> just straight up. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But I did my best. This is an hour of work. Uh, obviously, I knew that this is not gonna end well. But I need to now... I, I, I gotta start doing this as just sort of a way to get better really quickly. And I basically need to self-analyze how I do these things so that when I do this again, it's going to actually look good. Because currently, it, 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 it's, not, it's not something I would put in my portfolio, let's just say that. <laughs> like, it does not look nice. It, it looks okay. It looks mediocre-ish. It, look like, it looks like something you would see in, like, 2007. Like, it's not, it's not very, like, League of Legends quality model, you know? It's very wish-washy. The colors are nice. I think the only thing that I will say is that I improved on over some time is the colors. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at like just managing the colors. Even then, my fucking colors are so washed on there. But yeah, overall, I mean... What are you gonna do? It's an hour. So, this is the best I got. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I'm still in the mission. I also need to save all images. There you go. You know, you got to make sure. And I'm going to now try and fix this in some way. Uh, maybe, okay, hold on. Let me add some more ambient occlusion. Again, I'm coping to see how the hell I'm going to be able to fix this, really. I can't control how dark it is, which is a bit of an annoyance, but whatever. I, I'm not going to lie. It, it won't help. <laughs> it's not going to help for, for us at this point. All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, I think I'm going to try and polish up the wood a bit more before I la leave this off. But yeah. This was this was a bit of a disaster. I'm just I'm just gonna be straight up with you. This was a bit of a disaster. I did not expect to be this caught up this badly in this entire ordeal, but you know, 
it is what it is. I, uh, I definitely did not expect this to be as hard as I thought it was going to be. I think the biggest problem is, is that I don't have a fucking reference. If I had a reference, this might be a little bit better. I also would have cheated because I would have skipped the entire painting process to begin with. But I think this actually challenges me to not work with a reference. Because I think that is actually also important. If, if you can just use your visual library of whatever you have, uh, like just remembered. And I think that will definitely be something I'll be taking into consideration when I do this again. I'll definitely be doing this as a regular series. I think this is a fun challenge. I I will do this as long as I think I've gotten to a point where like I'm pretty okay with uh with the with the result. Obviously, I think this is also a bit of an unrealistic expectation for a lot of people. Like an hour is nearly impossible to get something decent. You can only really make it decent if you're lucky that you're really good at that one thing. So, for instance, if you're like a tree guy and you and you got a tree as a random thing you're going to do, obviously you're going to do amazing. So, I think this is probably one of those occasions where I'm just doing this mostly for fun. Because now that I'm busy with video editing, um, trying to get a job with hand painting is not exactly my priority as of right now. Uh, I still want to do it as a job, but I don't think it's going to be hiring me anytime soon for it. So I think I'll I'll just do this as a fun challenge to keep myself sharp and to just make sure that, you know, I, I, still, I still got it. You know, like I still can paint and whenever I'm actually needed to be summoned for a project, then I will be able to do it. Like I have the... I have the, the aptitude to be able to do it. So I think that's the important thing, you know? Like, I don't really care if, if it takes me 300 days until I make something sort of decent. Maybe I won't even make it at all. All I care about is that this is just a nice way for me to keep myself in check. To be like, yes, I did this, I did that. And I, I mean, to be fair, if I keep doing this every other day... At the end of this, I will have fucking 20 plus models. They're not good models, but they're something. <laughs> In fact, I did something similar to this where I made a hand paint every day. And it was pretty rough, but I learned a lot. I learned that hand painting is actually pretty pog from that entire experience. And now I want to do hand painting just from that challenge. So, you know, challenging yourself is good. When when it's like healthy and you you're earning something from it, so I feel like I'm earning something from it. All right, boys, that's it. That is that is all I can. That's all she saying. That is that is it. So I think for one hour, I think I did relatively okay. Was some notes for one, still very smudgy. Uh, I don't really blame myself for being that smudgy because it's kind of impossible to get a refined model from an hour. You kind of need at least two hours to even refine, like, say, the wood here. Actually, no, maybe like 30 minutes. But still, you need a bunch of time because that's a refinement. You need to refine the piece. I also think that working in black and white could have worked better in this specific scenario so if you don't know what you're doing i feel like black and white would have been a little bit better just because if you just look at this the instant thing that i see is that the forms are fucked the mo the metal doesn't make sense the stone sort of makes sense in this angle the wood feels like sloppy the glass doesn't look like glass. Well, it does, but it, it's really badly made glass. The only thing that I'm sort of proud of is the fact that I was able to make the emission work. The glass actually looks like glass, even though it's hand-painted. And, like, that's it. 
I, I, I think the biggest thing is I need to work in black and white, then color it in, then come back, then I'll be able to have a little bit of a nicer model. I, at least from my opinion. I think it will look nicer if I do it that way. I don't know if I'm going to polish this. I think it's actually more fun if I just leave it unpolished and then maybe in another time, maybe next year, I'll go back and do this hourglass again and see if I improved. That's that's going to be a cool thing. So I think that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for waiting. It's been a while, so I apologize. But if you want to check out my editing channel where I edit videos for content creators, then I'll leave it in the description. But yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Oh, oh I, okay. This is how I stop recording. Jesus Christ.